Hello everyone, we are Kaohsiung Municipal Linyuan Senior High School and Nagoya Commercial High School. Before we're going to talk about our topic, I have two questions to ask you. First, how many news you ever seen? Second, are you sure that you have the ability to tell the true or false? We think learning identify the information is a method to not be led by the nose. Also, this is our topic. Everyone has others wanting to learn. However, what's the reason that when they receive some news or message on the internet, they can believe them quickly and spread them without hesitation? Don't let off their truthfulness. Under the circumstances, the thriving development of technology, the information on the internet spread much faster than before. Therefore, there are more and more fake messages and false news information on the internet. Okay, let's take a look. These are three main points. First, event. We are going to tell you what's our Taiwan event. Second, solution. We are going to talk about how to solve this problem. Third, what we do. What we do for this event. Let's take Taiwan as an example. In 2018, there was a famous incorrect news known as Taiwan Toilet Paper Panic. You know, because of this panic, many people just keep buying the tissue paper. It is because the wholesaler gave a message to the social media that the price of the tissue would rise by 30%. And this message was known by everyone. The worst thing is, even though the government said that the news was not true, people still kept buying. Therefore, the toilet paper demand didn't miss, the supply didn't miss the demand. And let's see what happened in Japan. on three fake news stories in Japan. First fake news is that eating natto is less likely to get infected with the coronavirus. People who believe this news bought a lot of natto, but this information is fake. fake. The second fake news is that the IG Prefectural Police posted false information on Twitter, such as if you take a deep breath and hold it for 10 seconds and do not experience coughing or shortness of breath, the possibility of infection with the coronavirus is low. This information was deleted later. The third one is that the lion escaped from the zoo. After the Kumamoto earthquake had occurred, the photo of lion walking down the street was spared in Twitter but also this photo was fake. The person who spread this fake news was arrested. Since the post was made after the Kumamoto earthquake, there were many people who could not evacuate or who felt anxious. You already saw what's happened in Japan. Let's discuss about our solution. To pretend the cat was caused by the fake news. As students, we can use these following ways. At first, we should develop competence of identifying media information. Here are some tips. First, we can try to know who owns the social media company. It can help us to know more about the positions and the attentions of the social media company. Second, who writes the news and who gives the information. We have to check the author of the news. If the news block the author's names, this situation may mean that the news is not open and transparent. What's more, it means the writer doesn't want to be responsible for the news. This kind of news will make reader hard to tell whether it is true or fake. When the news happens, news has a time limit. Therefore, we need to know the information or picture in it to check whether it has or hasn't passed its time limit. When the news happens, we need to know whether the information and picture happen in the same place. 
if a person can find all the answer of the above tips, don't believe it. Next, how does this whole information will affect in our life? People became anxious believing that the lion had escaped from the zoo. And people who believe eating natto was less likely to get infected with the coronavirus. Everyone bought natto, and natto disappeared from supermarkets around all of Japan. In this way, we are likely to believe the information on the internet easily. Second, we have to identify companies. We can start to make use of the tools beside us. For example, two apps that can distinguish the news. A. The message tracker. B. From performing technological experts, you can copy the link and we pass it on the app. The app will help us to distinguish whether the news is true or false. At last, we think actions are louder than speaking, so we establish a website to teach people in Taiwan to establish a true folding of the news. Here is our website. This is our QR code, and you have to check it. Okay, now we head back to Japan. Let's see how to solve the problem. Last, how can we identify media information? This graph shows the percentage of male and female middle and high school students who have spared fake news. This is the percentage of people who have spared the fake news by liking or retweeting. This one is the percentage who have told their friends and family. Overall, more than half of the respondents have spared the fake news. To prevent the spread of fake news, we need to think whether this is true or fake before sharing the news and that it's important to read articles from other media. Okay. 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 We will we, go first. We. Taiwan. <laughs> Can we start? Okay. We have a Okay. okay, we choose the app, the question mm -hmm. that what's the way you want to share our website? Okay, as a teenager, on the basic side, we have 
Aside from using social media to promote our websites, we have Exxon Student Association or Central Committee of Children and Adolescents help us to promote the websites. I know it sounds, we can do nothing, but it's not right. Um, if we have, at least we have tried. And if we would try, we can help more people. And why not we just try to promote in our ability. Thank you. And our, our movement, let's, we have, we have Thank you for listening. And Japanese turn. Yeah. We would like to answer. Is there anything you are being careful of social media? We think SNS is very convenient, but there are a lot of problems. For example, is it possible to hurt people through words? And according to our presentation, it's easy to spread the fake information. To use SNS, we have to choose the words and before sharing the information, we need to think whether this is true or fake. Thank you. Okay, someone asked how to stop the situation and we have mentioned it on the PPT and now we are going to answer some questions. Um, how can we find out that it is fake news? Uh, first, like message checker. You can put some news on the checker and to ensure that whether the news is true or not. And aside from this, you can use our website because our website is really helpful. It can help you to check whether the news is true or not. It's information. Thanks for listening.